Hi, it's David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the nation's leader in regenerative therapies. Today we're discussing a very common topic, which is stem cell therapy for knee pain. Typical disclaimer, I'm uh, not going to read through the whole thing, but um, you're welcome to take a screenshot and, and read through that. All right, so worldwide, over a fourth of individuals over the age of 40 suffer from chronic knee pain. And this may be due to any number of issues. Um, the purpose of this video is not to delve into those, but to talk about you know, the new option of stem cell therapy. The options for non-surgical knee pain treatment have hardly changed in a very long time. And here's a list of some of those. Uh, a cane or a brace, anti-inflammatories, potentially narcotics when times get tough, steroid injections, and hyaluronic acid injections, also known by patients as rooster comb injections. You know, when you look at steroid injections, which have been around for like the last 50, 60 years, they are considered a gold standard by insurance companies, which is absolutely ridiculous because on average they provide two, three weeks of relief. They can actually degrade joint cartilage. They can also cause other side effects. So we've really been in need of new options for a long time. Now, when you look at knee replacement, it's a last resort. It's an elective procedure. Um, there's, I think there's over a million done in the, this country every year. Um, and people think of it as a very effective procedure, um, but studies have come out over the last five years um, showing that, yeah, it's not as good as we thought it was. For instance, it's not a permanent um, situation. Typically, you will need a repeat after 15 years or so, considering that half of new replacements are done with individuals under the age of 65. That's a problem, you know, because our average age of life in this country is pretty high. Um, the study at the British Medical Journal showed that 39% of patients still experience significant pain a year after a knee replacement which, you know, 4 out of 10 is not nearly as successful as we thought. And that pain typically does not go away. Um, and one of the reasons people call us all the time trying to get in to see one of our doctors because they just don't want to do a second one. So stem cell therapy for knee pain is really a new paradigm. It's a non-operative therapy that can actually repair and regenerate damaged tissue in the body, uh, provide relief, improve function. It's low risk. It's outpatient. It's effective. We've never had a significant adverse event. Worldwide, our centers have done over 16,000 procedures. Probably half of them have been on the knee. Um, never had a deep infection. Never had a disease transmission. Anything like that. Um, and our centers do an injection into the knee. We don't do an IV or anything like that for knee pain. How do the stem cell biologics <clears throat> work? I mean, a lot of people think that if they get an injection of stem cells into the knee, that those are the cells that are going to turn into then cartilage or whatnot. And that's not what happens. A lot of it, um, the repair occurs by what's called paracrine signaling, which is cell to cell communication, promoting new blood flow, reduced cell death, um, modulation of the immune system, uh, anti-apoptosis just refers to preventing cell death. There are some direct mechanisms as well. We don't understand those very well yet, um, but it is a multi-faceted uh, method of repair, and a lot of which involves amping up the body's own repair processes. So I wanted to go through a few studies of uh, stem cell therapy for knee pain. Here's one that was a two-year follow-up with 18 patients who averaged about 62 years of age. They used stem cells either 10 million, 50 million, or 100 million, and this was from adipose. Uh, the pain relief lasted over a year in all groups, but up to two years in the higher dose. Our centers used 10 to 15 million umbilical stem cells, which are more proliferative, more potent than adipose, um, and the pain relief we see uh, usually is well over a year, sometimes, you know, three to four years. Here's uh, another recent study looking at um, um, mesenchymal stem cells, either with or without platelet-rich plasma. 
for knee pain. And this was in 18 patients, uh, half received the stem cells, the other half received stem cells plus PRP. Uh, the stem cell group showed significant improvements in pain relief, increased function, um, improved daily living activities, also sports and recreational activities participation. When you look at the uh, addition of PRP, it really didn't increase the benefits um, very much. So it did, just didn't make a difference. <clears throat> Here's a literature review of 21 studies for stem cells for knee pain in uh, close to 600 patients. This was an average age of 50. And in these studies, when they looked at MRI scans, they showed a slowing down of cartilage degeneration and early signs of cartilage regeneration at the one year follow-up period. So the authors said that it was a superior approach to conventional treatments, um, reducing inflammation, followed by restoring some damaged cartilage tissue in the knee. Um, this was a really good study where they looked at umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells for knee pain with um, um, three arms to the study. One was just hyaluronic acid, another was a single treatment, and the other was a repeated treatment uh, at six months with stem cells. So <clears throat> this was out of Chile. Uh, they looked at 26 patients divided into those three groups. As I said, hyaluronic acid alone, 10 million stem cells once or twice a year. And they followed them up for a year. So I'm going to skip this chart. It's a little bit confusing. It's easier to see it here where you can see the hyaluronic acid group just, you know, did well for about three months, which is typical. This shows the one or two dose, uh, one or two injections. Um, and the gray is the one and the blue is the, the two. Not, not a huge difference in most of these with symptoms. Um, <clears throat> symptom relief was about the same. Pain relief was about 10% better in the double dose. Um, activities of daily living was a bit better improvement. Um, sports and recreation, you see a huge difference in those who got two uh, doses. Uh, and then quality of life was dramatically improved in, in both, about the same. Here's another really cool looking uh, uh, chart that shows um, different doses around the um, world's uh, studies um, for knee pain, whether it's um, uh, 10 million, whether it's 100 million, whether it's two different um, injections. You can see it's just not a big difference. The outcome was really, really good in all of these, except when you get to placebo, you know, where they don't have any um, injection performed. So when you look at how well 10 million does versus, say, 20, 50, or 100 million, that's why we use 10 million. I do like to point out that um, embryonic stem cell therapy or induced pluripotent stem cell therapies are very exciting for the future, but they're not ready for prime time now. If anyone suggests you should have one of those procedures, run away because it's not uh, safe enough. Uh, those immediately get rejected. They can cause tumor formation. We don't have any of those issues with the mesenchymal stem cells or the hematopoietic stem cells. That's the way to go. So in the conclusion, the outcomes stem of stem cell therapy for knee pain have been stellar. Um, no significant adverse events were seen in any of these studies. We haven't seen any either. Um, they showed reduced cartilage degeneration, some evidence of increased cartilage formation. The results were long-lasting. Um, as I mentioned, we use 10 to 15 million cells per joint. Uh, some of the clinics we have around the country do add PRP. We're just not quite sure whether statistically it makes a difference. So when you look at our knee pain uh, program, the cells that we use have a pristine safety record. They come from FDA uh, certified labs here in the U.S. that actually have more stringent standards than what the FDA requires. Very high viability, pure, potent cells um, that have uh, excellent um, results. Now, the, our process starts with a free phone consultation with one of our licensed, experienced uh, stem cell doctors. The amazing thing here is that we have very high quality biologics, uh, but we've done so many procedures here and around the world that we just have, you know, 
leverage and buying power. So we've been able to transfer the buying power to the cost. It's only $2,495 for a 10 million stem cell injection into a joint, $3,995 for both knees with 10 million cells each. If you look at that pricing, it's half of what other clinics charge um, where they don't know how many cells they're injecting. Um, but with ours, we have a certificate of analysis you'll be able to see. R3, um, I started the company close to a decade ago. We've gotten a lot of awards. USA's leading regenerative therapy services provider. We've been featured on every major media channel, along with receiving other awards, 10 most innovative, 10 best companies, 50 smartest companies. Start the process today. Just give us a call at 844-GET-STEM. We'll get you set up with a free phone consultation. And visit our website at avoidsurgery.net. Thanks so much for watching.